Have you ever wondered what happens when an aircraft loses all its power systems mid-flight? There's a clever backup hiding in the aircraft's body, ready to save the day. It's called the Ram Air Turbine, or RAT. And in this video, I'm going to show you how it works, when it deploys, and why it's a critical part of aviation safety. Ram Air Turbine is a small wind-powered turbine that can generate hydraulic or electrical power using nothing but the airstream during flight. It's normally hidden away in a compartment, often in the fuselage or the wing, but in an emergency, it can deploy to restore essential systems. When and why it's used. Modern airliners rely on electrical and hydraulic power for nearly everything, from flight controls to navigation. If both the main systems fail, the RAT automatically or manually deploys. It spins in the airflow, producing just enough power to keep vital systems running, like flight controls, instruments, and radios. Some RATs drive a hydraulic pump, which in turn powers an electric generator. How it works. When it deploys, the RAT uses ram air, essentially the air rushing past the aircraft, to spin its turbine blades. This mechanical energy is transferred to a generator or hydraulic pump. Between the moment of failure and RAT deployment, the aircraft's batteries temporarily power essential systems, creating a seamless transition. The RAT is not used in normal operations, but in emergencies, it can be the difference between total failure and a controlled landing. A notable case was Air Transat Flight 236, which lost both engines and relied on the RAT to maintain control and communication ultimately landing safely. As pilots, we may never see the rat in action, but knowing it's there and understanding how it works is part of flying smart and safe. If you found this helpful, give it a like and subscribe for more flight training tips. Fly safe and I'll see you in the next briefing.